Hey guys, we're coming to you from a uh, pretty unique location here. I'm gonna give Mike 100% credit for this one. We uh, came to film a location that we just filmed about 10 minutes away from here, and he decided to do a little searching on Google Maps to see what was in the immediate area, and he discovered something pretty unique and bizarre. That I can only name it as like a, an abandoned gated community. The reason I call it that is because there's a the remnants of a gated road down at the bottom of the hill. We actually had to walk up that about a seven minute walk. It's formerly paved here, but it's all overgrown. But we've got a house right there, a house right here, and I believe at least a half dozen more houses, as well as a pool. And I don't know anything about this. I don't know a name, a date, anything about it at all. So I'm gonna try and incorporate this all into one video. And uh, I'm not gonna go into huge in-depth looks at these places, but we'll give you a, a brief look at each location. And uh, if we do learn anything along the way, we'll share it with you. So come along with us as we check out this old gated community. Here's our first residence. I don't know if we could get into any of these or not, or if anyone is, you know, living in them as far as squatters. But the door is wide open, so I'll check it out. I'm not sure how structurally sound these places are. It's like a one room rental cabin. Anyone in here? We're just taking photos. So if it it's not a gated community. Maybe it was a, uh, a camp. I could have been wrong about that, but these are all like individual rooms. That one's pretty bad. Another structure right behind it as well. These rooms are pretty much empty. Not much to show, just empty rooms here. So, that was a quick look at the first building. See, that's an old bus stop sign there. And we have a larger, it's like a stone house or stone cabin. It's very, you're really quiet. Some old transformers. We are quite a distance away from everything, so hopefully we don't encounter anyone or anything. This one's pretty bad shape. Hello? Yeah, we won't be going far in this one. Roof is completely collapsed. Floor is collapsed. Newspapers in here. I'm not sure if this was living space or maybe a uh, food quarters. It does continue that way. 92 on the paper. 92? Yeah. 1992 on a newspaper found on the ground. These places are pretty heavily gutted and uh. 
decayed. It's a nice building from the outside though. So here's another look at that uh, outside stone cabin. Right behind it we have a much larger house. I'll try and check that one out next. This place is literally a gold mine. There's so many houses we're finding, they're just kind of hiding in the trees here. But we found three already within a matter of minutes, and we saw many more. This is much larger. Now that doesn't give off like a either a crack house look or a haunted house look. I don't know what does. All right, let's check this one out. Guys, one word of caution if you guys ever decide to do exploring like this, don't go alone. You never know who or what you're going to encounter, especially in a wilderness, isolated location like this. Okay, so this one at least has some furniture. Hello, anyone here? We're just photographing. These are, uh, hello? Thought I heard something. Um, these rooms are not in bad shape. I mean, they're not livable, but they're better than the last few we saw. It's a gas fireplace, I think. Look at those curtains. Yeah, it's probably screaming in the 70s. What the hell did I just step on? These rooms are numbered too. Like it's very, very odd and confusing. Like it's giving off initially a vibe of a gated community, and now it's giving off like a private resort type of thing. Okay. A lot of rooms to this place. I'll give you the honors. Thanks. <laughs> Pictures. Sanitary napkin, disposal bay. Yeah, I don't know. That was pretty rough. Maybe it was a resort. Like the whole ceiling's on the ground. Same type of uh, backboard on the bed. Check that out. So all these mattresses, it's hard to tell if someone's staying here or not, but this one is pretty, uh, pretty bad shape. Some of these rooms at least. Pretty dirty as well. Just watch your footing here. That's almost like freak me out. All right, so this is the third house we checked out in a Based on the evidence in this one, it's looking more and more like a type of resort or campground. They had uh, men's and women's, you know, disposal products, and all the rooms have very similar furniture. So at first, you know, I was mistaken, I thought it was a gated community, but now I'm leaning towards a camp or some type of resort. So maybe as we explore further, we'll find some more information and hopefully put the dots together and come up with an idea as to exactly what this was. 
Okay, now I wasn't kidding when I said there's a lot of houses. Right behind the one we were just in, which is through the trees, there's another one right here, one there, and another one behind it. So what I think we're going to do, we're going to kind of just go into these houses quick, give them a quick once over, and if they look interesting or there's something in there to film, I will share it with you guys. Otherwise, we're just going to keep moving on. Otherwise, we're going to have a five hour video and we're running out of daylight, so that'll be our next step, so stay tuned. Okay, so that's the first house I showed you. There's nothing really interesting in there. This is the second house, and uh, this one piqued my interest. It has one of these older double doors that close separately from each other. They have a pretty nice fireplace and some very retro curtains. It's an old leather furniture there. It's a remnants of a bathroom or furnace room. Got some steps, so we'll check it out really quick and see. So we got two small bedrooms upstairs, some pretty bad rot. Don't know where that goes. The floor is all rotted. Okay, so it continues on. It's a hallway. There's more bedrooms down there, but I'm not stepping on that. It's completely rotted and we're on the second floor. Again, these doors are all numbered. So I don't think a personal residence would be numbered like that. It's a big bed. Yeah, they're, they're all like this size. California King. All they all have the same backboard on it too. Hmm. This house has multiple bedrooms. Some small ones. This one's maybe an office. There's another bathroom. Looks like they came and took out some things prior to coming here. Some of the tubs are gone, toilets, fixtures. Looks like they stole the copper pipes out of that one. Did we do this one already? Did we see this one already? No. This place is really mind boggling. We've only covered maybe a couple hundred yards and we've discovered, what, I think five, six houses already. I had another one right here, another one in the woods there, and gazebo. something back there, gazebo. And there should be a pool here somewhere, so running out of daylight, running out of battery time, so we're gonna try and make the best of what we have left and continue on. Okay, so we have a pretty neat wooded walkway that splits off to the two different houses, and I'm even seeing more of them in the background. It's just crazy. It's like a whole, almost like a neighborhood, but it's like abandoned, even though it's not a neighborhood. Okay, so that one, I'm not even going to bother trying to get in that. Even though we could, it's not worth the effort. Oh, we do have one that's accessible right here. And you can see through the porch, there's another one right behind it. It's just never ending. A lot of furniture on this one. Anyone in here? Just taking photographs. I 
nothing really here, just a small bedroom, bathroom. Yeah, that's some old style window locks. Most of these houses do have nice fireplaces and they're all leaking in the same spot. You want to check that out quick and see? It's worth it, yeah. See if it's worth it. Aside from having fireplaces in common with all these houses, they all have lots of bedrooms. This one looks like it has like some fire damage. Some nice windows there looking out to the, the forest. Mike went upstairs really quick and it's all that's really up there, it's pretty much rotted. So, it's gonna do for this house, we'll move on to the next one. So this one's a much larger house here, but the stairs are collapsed on it. And with us running out of time, I don't think it's gonna be worth the effort. This is probably gonna have to be a return trip for us. But I definitely at one point or another wanna get into all these houses. You never know what you could find as far as old relics, vintage items, who knows, even maybe a bag of money. These old roads just keep going and going and going. And yeah, I lost count of how many houses we've encountered so far. Let's see if we could do this one. This one's pretty big. Did you hear that? Yeah. Has really nice front porches on them too. Same curtains, same typical setup. I do like this one a little better with that little A-frame arch over the fireplace. There's more of those disposal bags, cups. Thank you for your patronage. Maybe these were um like summer. Rentals. Hmm? This might be summer rental homes. Very old style, but I can tell these were nice to live in at one point. People always have been partying in here. There's beer bottles, cans, and chairs in not too bad a shape. I guess I'll go first and I'll check upstairs. Uh, ceiling's rotted. Hello. Just taking photographs and pictures. Some bigger rooms up here. Almost every window is busted out. All right, back outside we go. 
Okay, right in front of us looks like we have the community pool. Ooh, that was close. Almost went down. I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you one thing I love finding at these places is the pools. Just trying to imagine how families or couples would have had hours of enjoyment at this pool or any pool that these resorts had to offer. It's not a bad size one either. Pretty sure I had a diving board. And one thing I discovered is right beneath us, there's actually a room. So it might be like the pump house or pool house, whatever you want to call it. Probably where they have the filters and everything. Not too bad looking though. Alright, so we're leaving the pool area and we're going to come up on what was to believe this little gazebo or something. Maybe a changing house. So as you can see, it's almost kind of built into the ground. It's surrounded by mounds of dirt. And we'll see what's inside. Okay. This is just a filtration house, I think. Nothing special in here. Let's see if we get into the main part of the building. Okay, so this structure here that we thought was like a gazebo or maybe a bathhouse, changing house, is just a giant tank. This may have been filled up with either well water or maybe the public water for the houses here. But you can't get inside of it though. It's completely enclosed. And there's some piping in there and it's just a large tank. So, very odd, but it definitely goes into the ground too. It's a large oval, not oval, but circular chamber that my guess is was, was for water. All right, we thought we were done, but there's one more house here. I think we have just enough daylight and battery time to film it. So we'll check it out. Oh, spider webs. Oh, there's more houses. Okay, we got a decision to make here. We got a house right there and a house right here. I'm gonna go, I think, with the larger one that easier path. easier path to get to. Maybe it'll pay off. Like I mentioned, this is gonna have to be a return trip to get here and film the rest of it. This was kind of a last minute stop on the way home from another location. And we didn't know if this is even still here. He just found it on Google Maps. And as you know, those maps are uh, several years old. So this is just a stroke of luck that everything's still here. It's a large house. It's almost like a fire escape or a private entrance. This looks like it would have been for their garbage. I think we could get inside this one. Okay, so we could get in here, but it doesn't look too promising. This one has some security lights. This may have been, uh, it's got an emergency exit up there. This may have been maybe a counselor's house or something or director's house. I normally go slower than I am right now with my camera work, but I'm kind of using my light just to make sure there's no one or no animals or anything in the rooms. So I apologize if I'm panning too quickly.
we come into daylight with proper daylighting and have a better understanding of what we're looking at, we could definitely do a better video. But just for the chance we don't return, we have this footage. What'd you say? It looks like it was a fireplace here. Oh yeah, it's capped off. This one has a strange setup to it, like the main entrance is like a back porch. Training. Oh wow. Now I know somebody in the comment section could tell me exactly what this is, because I usually mistake it. This looks like a dresser, possibly a desk. And I said that the one time somebody said it was a buffet thing for dining room, so you guys could tell me what that is, but let's see if there's any more information on it. It's just a number there, 599-17963. It's a very odd room. It's very small. It has the back of the fireplace here. Mattress. And it's leaking too. Let's get a picture of this desk. Alright guys, my outro got cut short because we ran out of battery life. Thankfully, thankfully we had enough just to show you everything that was up there, but obviously with the nighttime now we're gonna end the video here. I just gotta hand it to Mike. He found an incredible location and it's just based on searching Google Maps in an area that we were gonna be today. And it paid off. It doesn't always pay off. A lot of times the images are years old and the items are already gone by then. But today, with the stroke of luck, everything was still here. Now I do recheck my previous statement. We initially said this was a gated community. Based solely on what we saw here, there's these stone pillars down here at the entrance. And it just resembled a private old gated community. But after seeing what we what we encountered up there, I'm led to believe this was either a type of a camp resort or a summer resort where people could rent the houses for you know the weekend, the week, the month, uh, the whole summer. And it's basically a summer getaway. They had the pool, there's a basketball court somewhere. And just by the looks of it, I don't think it's been used in the last probably 20 years. Everything's old, outdated, decaying and rotting. And now basically just left to the elements and it's slowly being overtaken by, the, by Mother Nature. So I'm gonna turn the mic and uh, he'll give you his thoughts next. I think it was a nice find. Um, not bad for using Google Maps, and uh, since we're right in the area, 10 minutes away, um, houses are pretty rough shape, but it was a nice find. About 10, 10 houses, 12 houses, give or take. The pool, I always gotta love the pool. Um, but all in all, good. I liked it. So once again, if you guys are ever looking for ways to find locations to explore, just do some research. We always research, you know, news articles, Google Maps. Um, other you know videos that we see on Facebook or on other social media and we look into it ourselves and go and make a video about it. As I mentioned the word of caution if you come to a location like this it's up in the woods especially at nighttime don't come alone we didn't know if we were going to encounter an animal a person or anything and you have to have good lighting because there's a lot of holes in the ground it could have been a very dangerous place if you weren't prepared but uh, let me know your thoughts I'd love to hear from you guys as well and also make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up it's free and only takes a second and lastly, make sure you subscribe to my channel and ring that notification bell, that way you don't miss any future uploads. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.